get started I'd like to briefly explain my seven energy point chakra spread. The cards on the left are the unconscious inner self, the card in the center is the heart, and the three cards on the right are the conscious for self. The card on the bottom left is the base of your spine. It's a combination of many things from past lives to tragic or cherished childhood memories up to the present. We're always culling and bringing new things into our lives and Evolving. That's why I'm calling it sourcings and urgings instead of foundation. The second card up is your pelvic or sacrum. And this is awakening or arousing. This is where your spiritual awakening is and growth of all kinds and includes your sexual prowess. This can be a cosmic life breath. The cosmos has natural laws that live in harmony, but we don't always live in harmony with them. The top left hand card is the solar plexus or what I consider sensing and feeling. This is where you get those gut feelings about something when they're right or wrong. This is also a universal life force contrary to a cosmic life breath. This is where chaos ensues in our lives. The center card is the heart of the matter or the situation we're always asking questions. Why did this happen and what's going to happen next? The heart of the matter must connect with the unconscious and the conscious so we can leave our shadow self in the dust and maybe have more of an understanding of what's happening in our lives. The card on the bottom right is the throat or what I consider communicating and teachings. It has to do with how we accept the rules of society and how we live our life. Are you living a conservative, orthodox life or more of a new wave, do what you want kind of life? The second card up is the third eye or seeing or envisioning. It's more of bringing things from a linear to a three-dimensional perspective. The third eye is our pineal gland in the center of our brain that's activated by light. So this can also be considered enlightenment. The card on the top right is the crown, 
are knowing and understanding. You can have a lot of knowledge, but if you cannot apply this knowledge wisely, it's not wisdom. In the past, I used to pull a hidden Rider weight card as I was doing the readings, but for logistic reasons, I'm going to be pull, pulling all of the cards at once and then putting these clarification cards alongside each of the main cards as I'm telling the story of the reading. The subtitles will direct you through this so you don't lose track of what's going on and where I'm at and what card I'm reading. And then on the left, I'll be putting a past card. And on the right, I'll be putting a future card. And then underneath, there'll be a Doreen Virtue Messages of the Angels card. And on with the readings. Hi there, Taurus. Before I get started, I'd like to make a couple comments. My first impression of the reading is that the right hand doesn't know what the left hand is doing. Or you're playing a multi-level chess game. So there's some complications in this. And secondly, I'd like to mention that there's quite a few major arcana cards, especially on the conscious side. And Keep that in mind while I'm doing the reading. The card on the bottom left for the base of your spine, for sourcing and urgings, you receive the death card. Some event or chain of events is causing a transformation. You're in the duration of the transformation. You didn't transform. You're transforming. And it's moving rather slowly. It's like you're a butterfly coming out of a cocoon and you're disoriented and waiting for your wings to unfold and dry before you take flight. Now the clarification card is the Queen of Pentacles. This is you, male or female. Pentacles is Taurus. And this queen is a very handsome and loving queen, but she's very pragmatic. She takes care of practical matters, and you know that you're transforming. It's not that she accepts it. You, when you start transforming with death, it's, it's not whether you accept it or not. It's just a fact of life. But she's just kind of watching and waiting and wondering what's next. And up in the pelvic, our sacrum, you receive the Four of Cups. You had too much of something or you got too little of something. And I can say you're contemplating, but I don't really feel like you're contemplating. I feel like you're contentious and angry. You're mad about something. Something isn't pleasing to you. And you're dissatisfied. And this is causing some kind of obstruction in your spiritual and personal growth, and it might be even affecting your sex life. I'm not sure. But the clarification card is the Page of Pentacles. He's over here to talk some sense into the Four of Cups. If any of the Page cards came in to talk sense to me, I'd, I'd want the Page of Pentacles because he's the Mr. Responsible. Well, the other one's out partying, and he's home reading a book or studying to forward himself in life. But he's still immature in many ways, and he's really not up to the task of talking rhetoric to the Four of Cups. In reality, the Page of Pentacles was sent in place of the Queen of Pentacles, so they sent a boy to do a queen's job. There's a lot of antagonistic things going on here. If you notice in my introduction, there's quite a few retrograde planets, and you've got Venus retrograde the first part of, of April. You know, you've got Mars going into Taurus on the 9th, I believe it is. You know, you've got Pluto going retrograde. And this is causing arguments and disagreements, and, and Mercury's going retrograde, so this is going to cause misunderstandings. So this is kind of the time in life where you're going to have to fly under the radar for this month. 
And it's telling you that up in the, the solar plexus too because for your feeling and sensing, you receive the tower. I can say something suddenly collapsed or change of circumstances. But really what happened is, is that you're transforming so slow with the death card that things didn't change fast enough and they actually did collapse. It's not a surprise to you that they collapsed, though. I, you had this preconceived idea that things weren't going well. And this puts you in a time out because the clarification card is the Four of Swords. You're laying on your tomb and you're not really thinking about what the purpose of your life is. It's more like you're just resigned to yourself and you're just tired, exhausted. And with the number four, the Four of Swords is connected to the Four of Cups. You're still dissatisfied. And you've overlooked a lot of things. Now the center card for the heart of the matter or the heart of the situation you receive the page of pentacles again. You're back to the same place. You're back talking to the four of cups. What's going on, guy? You know, are you going to be happy? Are you going to resolve some of these issues that are going on? I kind of have the feeling like this is two fifth graders commiserating about something they've never done before. One's coaching the other, and they're both so inexperienced, and neither one has ever done it. That they're making all the major mistakes. And you should be acting like the Queen of Pentacles instead of the Page of Pentacles. And sometimes your responses to people have been rather immature, and you even realize this because you're thinking, did I really say that, or did I really do that? Now here we're getting closer to the heart of the matter because the clarification card is the lover's card. It's a union of some sort. It can be a partnership. It can be a friendship. It doesn't necessarily have to be a love relationship. But strangely enough, the lover's card is more about making a decision or a good decision. It's the idea of vice versus virtue and doing the right thing. And it also has to do with temptation. And here you fell into the pitfall of temptation because you didn't want to compromise. And that's one feature of Taurus is that you're stubborn. Years ago I read that constellation of Taurus actually meant steer and more like driving something towards a direction. But then it got misconstrued into steer as a cow or cattle and then it went to bull because there was a bullishness about some of the characteristics of the Tyrians. So here you are trying to find some balance and harmony with a union card, with a card that wants you to make a decision. Now down at the bottom right for throat, for communicating and teachings, you receive the Three of Cups. You're reveling in happiness, you're celebrating and the clarification card is the Wheel of Fortune. Something fortuitous happened to make you feel like, oh, everything's all right now. I received a message from the Page of Pentacles, and he gave me the green light that I don't really have to deal with something that I haven't wanted to deal with. This has to do with the Four of Swords and the Four of Cups. As I said, you overlooked some things, and it went into actually denial. Because the card above the Three of Cups is the Lover's card again. It's the third eye, the seeing and envisioning. You're re revisiting the problems that you had. You, you didn't get to the core of things. You didn't nip things in the bud. And here it's resurfacing again. Hi there, I'm having problems with this union I have with you or you have with somebody else. You haven't been nurturing it. You think it's kind of an automatic and you receive what you want out of it and you really don't care how the other person feels about it. And the clarification card is the Six of Pentacles. And this caught your attention because maybe you should be a little more charitable or somebody should 
be a little more charitable in this relationship. Give it a little more time. Nurture it. Pay attention. And maybe you won't be in denial anymore. You might have taken care of nine out of ten big things and thought, well, with the death card here and I'm transforming that just by momentum it's going to push through, but it didn't happen that way. Now the top right hand card for the crown for knowing and understanding, you receive the star. All of a sudden you are understanding, you're seeing things with more clarity. We use the stars to guide ourselves and also to find our position on earth. And here you have found your position on earth. And you are transforming and changing. You're using it as a beacon now. And the clarification card is the Hierophant. And I could give you all this bull about, oh, traditional, orthodox, this and that. And it does have to do with finding truth because you were in denial and you weren't looking at the truth. But then again, Taurus oversees the Hierophant card. And this is indicating you, yeah, you you made some realizations here and you're being guided. The star card can even be some kind of celestial guard, guardians helping you through things. So here you went full revolution. You have the Queen of Pentacles down at the bottom, which personifies you. And now you have a pudgy hierophant that's also saying, yeah, Taurus, you made some realizations. Now the pass card on the left is the Queen of Cups. Once again, there's a couple things going on here. Now she's feeling really comfortable about a lot of things and and she's the inevitable nurturing mother, but sometimes she can smother people with too much love. And maybe that's what happened in some instances in what's going on in the big picture here. And then again, when people solicit advice from her, she can give excellent advice, but she can't follow her own advice. And the last thing about the Queen of Cups here is that she's looking into a cup that has a cover over it. This is indicating intuition. And the collapse of the tower in your gut feeling area, she knew that was a major possibility, but she, and intuitively, knew it, but ran the risk of it happening. Because it was, it's like, well, maybe it's only 10%. Well, it did happen. Now, the future card on the, on the right is the world. So it's saying, yeah, you've completed this cycle. You've learned your lesson. You understand, and you've got knowledge under your belt, and you're ready to go on for new challenges which is excellent. A lot of people in their lifetime haven't come to these realizations and you have to appreciate that. And I pulled a clarification card for the world because sometimes the world's just, well, okay, you're in completion. And it's the Ace of Cups. It is about emotions and love. The whole key to this transformation that I said, if we got down to the core of why the death card's here, will understand the reading. Now the Ace of Cups is giving you the opportunity to find more deeper emotions and relationships that'll make you feel more complete. Okay, for the Doreen Virtue card, you received Omega. It says, Victory! Your desire is coming to fruition. Keep up the good work. And as you can see, you received the world card. Everything has come to fruition. And I, I wish you acceptance, peace, and happiness. Uh -huh.